Right then, way too foggy to go flying today. So do you know what? Perfect, perfect time to finally get that bigger motor in the Tundra, the one I crashed, I don't talk about, and then give it a go on 4S, or at least put all the motor, the ESC in it today, and I thought it'd be the perfect time. So hopefully you're watching this if you're interested in doing the similar sort of thing. Okay, so, old motor, 950 kV, 900 kV, I stand corrected. It was good, loved it, brilliant, um, but I got two Tundras, one I've crashed and one I've not, so I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with the one I've crashed. I mean, it was fine. I've got it here. It's just a little bit creased. Nothing wrong with that. Celestial music, please. Here it is, uh, the SK3. I'll put a link in the description of which exact model this is for you. It's the 3542 1000KV uh, V1, but I'll put in the li a link in the description. It comes with a prop adapter that fits the standard props and the stock props, as well as these APCs, which are pretty popular. It comes with a bag of bolts and a bag of bits, which we'll have a little look at later, and this prop adapter, which I don't know what I'd do with that. Uh, also, the cross mount, which is one of my questions that I thought about before buying this stuff, will the cross mount need much modification? I know RC Moron, who posted a video on this exact thing, did say you had to drill out the outer holes of the SK3's cross mount to 3.5 mil, which is what I've done here, and it should fit. I just wanted to give you a little image of exactly what that looks like, and you will see, if I hold the camera right above, there's a little bit of difference there, and it, but it will fit. I've tested it out. It does actually go in and holds pretty strong. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to thread lock all the screws up and get the cross mount in uh, and the motor screwed to the cross mount as well, and then we'll go from there. No idea what that is. And done. Right, okay, so that actually fitted in pretty good, as long as you screw the four corner screws for the cross bracket in pretty slowly and gently as they go. It's uh, it's good, it's in, it's on. Uh, 50 amp ESC, uh, Aerostar ESC, I'm sure that's fine. It's got a five amp Beck on there as well. Um, should cope. Haven't actually done any test runs, but this one actually is pretty beaten up, so I don't mind testing it out on this. Um, it's not even got a cowl on it, so I'll just check that the motor spins up good, and then I'll put a prop on and uh, see what it's like. That's about maybe one third throttle. So this will be interesting. Um, yeah, nothing temperature-wise coming through the ESC. Obviously, I'll have to check all of that after it's had a flight and uh, plug it in properly but yeah I think it's gonna it's gonna be fun it's gonna be really fun and uh, I'll get a full flight report video um, from both on the ground camera angles and, and uh, onboard footage as well so watch this space at Ben Atkinson UK on social uh, subscribe give us a like if you want to go 4s on on the tundra